Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. We have to be better. We have to play better. We have to defend better. We have to trust one another better. We have to be coached better. Every single thing, everybody has to be better. Everybody. It starts from the equipment uh, manager. He has to wash our clothes better. The bench has to be better. The leaders of the team have to be more vocal. We have to make more shots. We have to defend better. We have to have better strategy. We have to be better. You know, and hopefully now it's, what are, what are we? January 6th. We have, uh, we have four months to get better, so let's see. The Milwaukee Bucks faced off against the Utah Jazz last night in which they got throttled. They got manhandled last night again, on their home floor against the Utah Jazz. And the Milwaukee Bucks are 1-4 in the last five games. And Giannis made headlines by really criticizing the, their his own team in which it seemed like he was trying to motivate his own team, but it didn't look like anybody was motivated last night. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is going on with the Milwaukee Bucks. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back again with another video. Uh, I want to make a disclaimer. Y'all seen the thumbnail, okay? Y'all is not going nowhere. Y'all shouldn't worry about that. Y'all shouldn't have any worries. Y'all Milwaukee Bucks fans, don't worry, man. Y'all should be worried about this defense. That's what y'all should be worried about. It's pathetic. And I get Dame didn't play last night, but Dame, even on, on the floor, if he was playing last night, I still think y'all would have lost, right? The thing is with this team, obviously, it seems like they're missing Mike Budenholzer. They're not, they don't, it seems like this team doesn't want to play with Adrian Griffin, their coach, their head coach right now. And it's proven examples. It's certain plays I see in this game versus Utah where they just lack communication defensively. It was unreal how bad they played defensively in this game and how bad they've been playing defensively in the last six, seven games, right? This game in particular, I had, I had to watch it for myself. I was like, okay, Giannis making headlines about Milwaukee, by his own team, even though they have a good record, even though they're still top team in the East, even though they still have high hopes for the season, they still continue team, right? He's making headlines, and he's very disappointed in what's going on. And obviously, I I don't blame him because he did put up back-to-back 40-plus point games in which they both – he. Actually, three times in a row, in which he lost two out of two out of the three. So, here's the thing: there are a couple of possessions in the game. I'm gonna explain this right right now. You have number 44. I think it's Justin Jackson. Please, please um, let me know down in the comments if I'm right about that. But the player, I believe that's Justin Jackson. Justin Jackson, but. Man, he was lost out there defensively. Lost. Every time you try to make try to make a screen, he goes to the other player. Leaving the three-point shooter wide open for three. Couple possessions in the game that happened. And Giannis, I'm not gonna let him off the hook. He did the same thing. John Collins will always set a screen on him. It'll be a double screen between John Collins and Lord Marketing. One of them will be going to the basket. Another one will be standing up outside the paint and on a three-point line, behind the three-point line, wide open for three. One position where, like I said, double screen. Book Lopez is defending the paint. So, Lord Marketing is going to the paint. Giannis follows Lord Marketing. Giannis, Book Lopez is already right there. He's defending that paint. So that leaves John Collins wide open for three. And there's a couple of other possessions where Justin, Jefferson, Justin Jackson makes the same mistake Giannis did in countless mistakes. I mean, countless. Like, Brooke Lopez, he's, he's looked frustrated out there because it seems like Brooke Lopez is, is a lick out there. 
And who Brook Lopez is one of the best defenders in the game. He was a defense player of the year candidate. A couple years. He looks like a lick right now. Especially Justin Jackson. That boy is a walking lick. Right? Every time make a screen. Three pointer. Wide open. Or cut to the basket. The defenders for Milwaukee, it'll be four people in the paint. Four covering one offensive player driving to the paint. Utah has shooters open in the corners. Wide open for days. Milwaukee has a fist. This defensively, there's so much miscommunication. So much miscommunication. Whereas, I see why Giannis is getting frustrated, right? Offensively, it's taking it's taking a toll on Giannis. That's why Giannis, yeah, he still put up his numbers. He still had a triple double, but Giannis could have dropped forty plus. He didn't feel like it because he had to worry about this defense, in which they ain't playing no defense. And when he's back on offense, they ain't doing nothing for him. And we still we understand Dame is out with an injury right now. He's resting, okay. When Dame comes back, he should take take a toll off of Giannis. But since Dame has came on his team, it's been on and off. Dame has definitely got his numbers. He's still he's averaging twenty seven points per game. He's Damian Lillard crying out loud, right? But it seems like they haven't figured it out completely yet, fully. Which I think the second half of the season they're gonna figure it out. They're gonna have to. If they don't, Andrew Griffin's gonna be fired. He's gonna be fired from the scene. Who will they pick up as head coach? I don't know. Right now, I don't know. But Andrew Griffin has his team. It looks like this team don't want to play for this coach right now. It, 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 and it's crazy because they have a really good record, right? But I mean, when you have Giannis on any team, I think they're gonna have a good record. It's Giannis, right? He's one of the best players in the NBA. He's a champion. He's a two-time MVP. Oh, we get it, okay? It's Giannis. You add Damian Lillard, you're going to have a good record. It's not about that right now. It's about what's going on right now, and I'm not like the one I'm seeing. Their chemistry is not there. It doesn't seem like it. You know, and Chris Milton is a player that was a former All-Star. And he's the biggest key to this team because he, he has to take a he has to take a seat back f because they added David Lowe to the team, and that's really took a toll on Chris Milton. I think Chris Milton is trying to find his role in this team. So it, it's a it's a lot of miscommunication, a lot of chemistry issues with this team, and that has to do with the coach. The coach has to figure this out, or else Giannis is going to get him fired. So, the next matchup they got is the Boston Celtics. <sighs> I hope y'all win the game. And if y'all don't, it's Boston, right? But that is a key game for y'all to get back on track. And like I said, doesn't matter what kind of record y'all got. Y'all have a really good record. But if y'all want to contend and fight for a championship, y'all got to stop playing like this. Y'all got to get the chemistry going. Y'all got to stop making errors defensively. Get the defense right. Because when Mike Boone was the one was to coach this team, this defense was never this bad. Never. So, Milwaukee, y'all have some issues to really fix. I hope y'all do. When you got Giannis and Dame, y'all going to make, make this work out. But if y'all want to contend for the championship, y'all got to fix this now. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what y'all think about in the comments down below in this session. Uh, and again, disclaimer, Giannis ain't going nowhere, okay? Just had to say that. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Give me to the thousand subscribers, and I'll see y'all next video. It's been Bo Will, and I'm out.